So my first favorite is actually an ingredient that's in three of my favorite products that I've been using these last few months. And that ingredient is neem oil. So I didn't really know about neem oil until I recently did some research about it because this first product, this face wash that I've been using has been really doing amazing things for my skin. This is the Everyday Coconut Face Wash and it has neem oil in it. And neem oil has been used for years and years and years because of its antibacterial, antifungal, anti-inflammatory, and anti-parasitic properties. And neem also contains vitamin C. So putting a product like that on your face is gonna do amazing things for your skin, for the overall texture and evenness of your skin, and it's also gonna help you if you're prone to blemishes. So I've noticed since I've been using this face wash that I haven't had any blemishes. Granted, I have very dry skin and I'm not, I don't have acne problems per se, but once a month or maybe twice a month, I will get the occasional pimple kind of in my T-zone. And since I've been using this product, I haven't had any breakouts. And I know now that it's because of the neem oil, which is really cool. So I've been using this for about four months and I would have had more of it, but I found out yesterday that my husband's been using this as body wash. So I'm gonna have to get some more. <laughs> Overall, for a natural product, this stuff is really affordable. I picked this up at my local health food store and it was only about $6, but I actually got it on sale, so it was, I think, five something. So this brand is really great and it's really affordable too. The next product that I've been using a lot and loving recently that also has neem oil in it is this hair smoothie from Shea Moisture. And it says it's a coconut hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie with silk protein and neem oil. One of my sisters actually turned me on to this product because she uses it and loves it. What I do is after I get out of the shower, I put a little bit of this stuff on my hands and rub it together to kind of warm up the product. And I put it all through my hair and I don't necessarily scrunch my curls because my hair's not really curly, it's just kind of wavy. And once it dries, it doesn't really stay particularly curly. So what I've been doing is just using this as kind of a frizz control product. So I'll put this all throughout my hair and once I just have a little bit of the product left, I'll focus it on the top of my head to kind of smooth down the frizz on the top of my head because that's one of my biggest pet peeves is when I try to wear my hair naturally, its natural texture, it'll be really frizzy on the top of my head and it doesn't look good. So this stuff has really been helping me to kind of calm my frizzy hair and I've noticed that it's been a lot silkier and feels healthier too because I can use this and not heat style my hair every day. So this stuff's been really great. And the last product that I've been using these past few months that has neem oil in it is this shampoo. So this isn't really a glamorous product, it's a scalp therapy shampoo. Because this shampoo is thinner than most other shampoos, it can really penetrate your scalp and the neem and the peppermint and lemon really work with your scalp to keep it healthy and not dry or flaky. I love using this in the winter and in the fall because it just keeps, it's, I use it more of a preventative measure to keep my scalp healthy and keep flakes away and it's really been working well for me. So now moving away from the neem products, this next thing that I've been loving in the fall season is this little gift set of Bite Beauty lip products. I actually heard about this product from Ashley from Makeup TIA's videos and I saw her talk about this and I knew that I needed to get it. It's a little gift set from Sephora. It comes with four of the Bite brand's high pigment lip pencils. And the color that I've been loving the most from this collection this fall is the rhubarb color. It's what I have on my lips now, and I think it just works so well as an everyday color, and I think it's great because it'll work well on a lot of different skin tones also. And the formulation is just really nourishing for your lips, and I was a little nervous about it at first because when you think of a lip pencil, you think of something drying, and all that kind of stuff, but it's not. It's really moisturizing for your lips and the stain power is amazing. So I'm really glad that I heard about this little gift set from Ashley. The next product that I've been loving in these fall months is my essential oil diffuser. So I talked a little bit about this product in my last video and I'll link it down below for you guys. I got this at the end of October for my birthday. My birthday is November 1st, so I kind of justified this purchase for myself. Um, and I'm so glad I did because I've been using this thing all the time. So this diffuser from Now Solutions is awesome. One, because it doesn't use heat. So 
when you heat up essential oils, they lose a lot of their potency and a lot of their benefits, but this one doesn't use heat, so it's really safe and it doesn't lose any of that effectiveness. It's also cool because it doesn't take a lot of essential oils to get a big benefit from them. So you use about a cup of water and three to about six drops of essential oil, depending on what blend you're using or you know how many different oils you're using, and it lasts six to eight hours. It's really quiet, and when it's done, when all the water's gone, it turns off by itself. So the next thing that I've been loving these past few months are my New Balance shoes. So I haven't had a new pair of tennis shoes since my chucks in eighth grade. I still have them and they're very trusty, but they're kind of dingy, obviously, since they're so old and I can't wear them to work or anything like that. But I can wear these and I have worn these to work and I love them. They're so comfortable and I just love wearing like black skinny jeans or even normal jeans and these as just kind of a pop of color and yeah I've been really loving these. I would recommend if you're gonna pick some up to try to try them on in store because I had some issues ordering them online getting the size that fit me so I'm usually between a six and a half and a seven these are a seven but I ordered the six and a half first and then before that I ordered another New Balance style in a seven and they were way too big but these in a seven fit me. And the next thing that I've been loving is this beautiful vintage fall coat. So if you guys follow me on Pinterest, you would see that I have been really obsessed recently with just classic outfits and really basic pieces. So I've been looking for a really classic fall coat that I could get and use for years and years to come. And I picked this one up at Goodwill, believe it or not, and it's just awesome. So you could tell how old it is by the font that they used in the label. It's just so cute. Um, but the brand is 77 Original, styled by SMR. So I'd never heard of that brand before, but the coat is just so high quality. You could tell by the stitching and the buttons. It's just going to be a great addition to my wardrobe. So I'm really excited for the weather here in Southern California to cool down hopefully soon so that I can take advantage of my new coat and wear it often. And my last favorite for the fall months is my new to me dresser. So like I said earlier, my birthday was November 1st and I really wanted to get a dresser for my birthday because Nick and I have been needing a new dresser for a long time. But I haven't been able to find one that I really loved and something that was in my price range until last month. So I follow a lot of vintage stores on Instagram, which is dangerous for me, but really good marketing for them. And I was scrolling through my Instagram a couple weeks before my birthday and I found my dresser. <laughs> it was in my price range. It's mid-century modern and it was made in the US which is amazing and so Nick and I made the trek out to Redlands which is where this vintage store is located and we picked up the dresser and brought it home and I am just in love with it. I love the clean simple lines of the dresser. I love its little peg legs and I love that it doesn't have any hardware on it and the drawer pulls are made out of wood that are kind of um, sleek in the front of the dresser. So it's been really fun for me to kind of get rid of stuff that I didn't need and just fit all of my clothes in this little dresser. And I haven't really had a chance to style it yet because I haven't finished kind of the decor of our bedroom yet, but it fits perfectly on the one wall that we would be able to fit a dresser, so I was really psyched about that. So that's it. Those are all my things that I've been loving in the last couple months. Let me know below if you've tried any of these products and let me know too if you have any recommendations for me. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!